This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global, joined by Clifton Mitchell. It's Ty Mitchell fight night here at Tough Boxing. Uh, Clifton, uh, Ty's uh, in the final, cruising it. Yeah, to be fair, no disrespect to the standard of boxing, but Ty's well above this level. And, you know, at 12 stone, nobody thought he'd make it. Absolutely made it, no problem. So it's very hard to get any good quality kids at 12 stone to even, even in the pro ranks would have a problem, never mind in this level. Is this uh, normally the case uh, with your son? Obviously, this first time I'm come to a show that he's boxed on. Is this normally the case? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I mean, he did the um, time fight last time, and uh, he stopped one in the first round, one in the second round, one in the third round. But he was around 13 stone, and he was boxing kids around 14, 14 and a half stone. So, and he still stopped them all. So, to be fair, he done that that way. Coming down a weight, and he's kept his strength. So he's, he's, he's to be fair, it's baby food. You know Speaking to the Fury, speaking to Dylan White and a load of other people in boxing, uh, they said that if Ty went into the professional ranks, uh, even we're talking about title level straight away, that he'd give people serious problems. So it's so frustrating, uh, this situation with his licence, etc. Now, I asked you, why can't he just get a, a licence not from the UK? Just to explain on camera what the situation with that is. I'll put it, I'll put it like this, yeah. Um, it was... A, it was <laughs> He went to prison, came out um, 10 years ago, this was, but he's on license. So the board has said that he can't get a license till he's off license. But um, they're saying they're doing every case on merit, which, you know, I'm not going to go too deep, deep into the uh, nooks and crannies of it. But if we got him a license abroad, the board, the board wouldn't allow him to box. You can't box in this country. He won't be allowed to box in this country. So, to be fair, um, it's it's kind of it's one of them that you have to adhere to what the board's saying. But I don't agree with them because at the end of the day, you know, he's done his time, he's done his sentence, and they're still trying to hold him back. They say he can have his license back when he's off license. But to be fair, ten years, you know, not committed offence ever again. So I find it very a very pit bitter pill to swallow. Do you think this uh, situation will ever get sorted, Clifton? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've taken them to the High Court. Understand? We've taken them to the High Court and we're gonna, we've, ser we've served the letter to him. So, to be fair, I, re I think within the next four or five months he'll have his licence because they're going to have to fight it and they're telling me that the board's broke anyway. So, they're going to have to... And the people backing, backing, backing it have got dough. So, they'll fight all the way. And if they didn't think they could win the case, they would not chuck the dough at it. Four or five months, that positive, yeah? Yeah, I'm positive, yeah, I'm positive. And I hope that the board watch this, and I hope that the board understand that he's going to get his licence back before he's off licence. You get me? I'm glad to hear that, I'm glad to hear yeah. that, Clifton. That's my, uh, listen, if I was a betting man, I'd be betting on that he gets it. Um, like I said, you know, we were supposed to do a show. Uh, originally, th this show was supposed to be go one, one day, this, this one day, and then my pro show the next day but my pro show now is on fightstream.tv and it's um we've got jack bateson on it we've got ben fields v alex fearon for a millions area title we've got jack bateson who's a mtk fighter we've got a couple undefeated fighters on it it's five fights and it's it's, it's, it's a good card 27 Tw no 13th which is next sunday so everybody ah. tune in fightstream.tv get the link tune in it's it's proper fighting uh, no disrespect to what I'm watching today, but it's nowhere near the level of the British Boxing Board of Control. Send me the link, Clifton. I'll put it in the description of this video, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in terms of if Ty does get his uh, licence, you said four or five months, um, he's going to have to be fast-tracked because he's lost that time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you put him in there with now? Me, would you... me right now, yeah, yeah. at 12 stone, yeah. is, is, uh, I'm, I'm going to play this down. His English title, British title level now. Super middle or light heavy, either. Either, either. And anybody that knows, ask Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew used him to spar for USEC. Yeah? So, you know, to be fair, this is a little bit unfair. This, this, <laughs> for me, this is a little bit unfair for these kids because they, they don't stand a chance. How frustrating has it been for you as well as his father? It's frustrating. I, I have arguments with the board all the time because I feel like they are um, one rule for one and one rule for the other. And... It's, it's all them suits at the, at the top table that have not, that feel that they're the do-gooders. But really, listen, most, most 
boxers can have a fight. I could have a fight before they actually got into boxing. And everybody's had a fight in the, on the street. So, you know, it was one fight, one punch, the kid's gone over and hit his head. That's what's happened. He hasn't stabbed anybody, he hasn't shot anybody. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't gone back. It was spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. And the, um, taking his life off him. The only thing he knows how to do was box. So, uh, yeah. Drug cheats, uh, convicted ones get licensed. You get licensed, you know what I mean? So, I like, like I said, I'll say another thing on the Black Lives Matter thing. Now, I asked the board uh, what they're doing for Black Lives Matter. And they said, oh, you can take a knee. I went, no, not what am I doing, what are you doing for Black Lives Matter? Oh, I think we've done enough. I said, no. I said, the Mer I said American football, basketball, every other sport has done something. Premier League. Premier League, yeah. Put wear it on the back of the shirt. So I said, what is the board doing for it? They haven't done anything, which I find very, very disappointing, really, because I don't feel that like they're jumping on board with it. And to be fair, I do think that it's 50-50 with, with the black fighters and white fighters. I'm sure that black fighters give us a hell of a lot of money, you know what I mean, to the board. So... And it's not about that either. It's about showing solidarity and showing everybody being together. Yeah, I get that. A lot of, as you said, sport uh, organisations, the biggest ones as well, have, have, have done stuff. So I'm disappointed with the board not doing anything, being proactive on it, leaving it. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I feel that if we can just move forward with this and make sure that everybody's on the same page with it. Yeah. Clifton, a quick word on your boy Harry Scarf as well. I spoke to you and him yeah. straight after the fight with uh, Troy Williamson. Of course, you were very disappointed because yeah. uh, he felt like you won the fight. Just uh, how is he since then? Uh, Harry's, Harry's brilliant. Harry's, Harry's, he thought he's come out that the winner. Even though he's not on record, I feel he's come out of the winner. And there's nobody on, the, on social media or any networks that gave Troy the fight. And I don't have a problem with Troy, you understand? Or his corner. I do have a problem with how the judging is so controversial every time you can be you can be go out absolutely punch like a lunatic and win or you can stand on the back foot and not do anything and win so you can't you, you don't even know what the judges are looking for i think the judges need to tell people what they actually i think a good idea if the judge says right then this is what i want to see in a fight this is what i want to see in a fight but every judge i think if you're an ex-fighter and you're a referee or you're ex-fighter you're a judge you're going to judge what you like has what your style would be rather than what the clean work is. I, I'm not saying it wasn't close, but I feel that if every round went to juice, I think we nicked it, you know what I mean? But I understand we did it four weeks out. He was supposed to be boxing next week, Saturday. That's the fight he was training for. So Troy, don't be scared. If you want the rematch, I know you don't want it because I know that you'll get your ass handed to you properly this time. I feel Harry will stop you this time. He wants it. You don't want it. And I know you don't want it. You, uh, Sports Network or Queensbury, they don't want it because they, they were bigging this kid up like he was so much special. And Harry took him, Harry bossed him and made him look like he had no power whatsoever. To be fair, I think you're boxing at the wrong weight, mate. I think you need to go up to middleweight. Okay. Well, listen, Clifton, thank you very much for your time. Actually, I've got one more thing for you. I've got yeah. one more thing. I've seen uh, this thing between Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn potentially working together. That's not going to happen, is it, Clifton? What do you reckon? I don't. I think there's too much water on the bridge for that to happen. You know what? I think they'll do what they need to do, and I think if it makes sense, if it makes money, it makes sense. If it don't make sense, they ain't gonna do it. And I don't think that any of them want to. I think Eddie's more likely. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's more likely to take a chance than than Frank is, maybe. But depends which fighter you're talking about. Now. I can't ask you no questions because <laughs> you're not allowed to answer any of them. Yeah, right. So I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clifton, listen, best of luck with your situation with uh, Ty and his license. Hopefully, it gets sorted. Thanks for your time. We'll catch up soon, all right? Nice one. Thanks a lot.